In a country where the line between law enforcement and lawlessness is blurred, the police are often criticized for their heavy-handed tactics and lack of accountability. The recent killing of three individuals during an attempted robbery of a KFC delivery person has once again brought to light the issue of police brutality and the failure of the justice system to protect the rights and lives of its citizens. Self-defense is what the police always say. Living in a country rich in oil and gas resources but receiving nothing from them is a stark reminder of the inequalities that exist in Trinidad and Tobago society. They protect people in the area and myself. War, war take place. We war on our way. The government and the elite few are reaping all the benefits while the majority of the population struggles to make ends meet. We have received first-hand accounts of this injustice in the community. Despite being surrounded by wealth, the majority of the Trinidad and Tobago population lives in poverty, often without realizing it. Homelessness, living at a parent's house or renting as an adult, inability to afford food, inability to access basic services such as healthcare or higher education, spending many years in jail without a day in court, seem natural to them as it is all they are accustomed to. Yes, start. From the one I come in jail, my lawyer ready. You understand? I waited for a start to go court, and then it might take me five years before I get the start. And when I get the start, I hear next exercises. And then what happens to your children? Five more years. And then what happens to your children? The old, the fatherless, nothing to go on for them. My child more had to go through and handle. She said, you understand? To make ends meet, and my son, my son, I out of his life when I make him come a criminal. This has been going on for so long. Unemployment rates are high, and those who are able to find work are often paid wages that are not enough to support their families. The root of this problem lies in the government's mismanagement of the country's oil and gas resources. Instead of using the revenue generated by these resources to benefit the entire population, it is being siphoned off by a small group of individuals who use it to maintain their grip on power and to line their own pockets. This situation is not only morally reprehensible but it is also unsustainable in the long term. A country cannot thrive if its population is suffering, and it is only a matter of time before the anger and frustration of the people boil over. It is time for change. The government must be held accountable for its actions, and steps must be taken to ensure that the country's resources are used for the benefit of all its citizens. This could include increasing transparency and oversight in the management of the oil and gas industry, implementing progressive taxation policies, and investing in social programs that provide for the basic needs of the population. As citizens, we also have a role to play in this. We must speak out against injustice and demand that our government represents our interests. Together, we can create a country that is truly for the people and not just for the elite few. HCN News